This is the one, the greatest, the best of all time, the king himself. And if you are here, you are probably brand spanking new to the Pokemon Draft League format. You're trying to build a brand new team and trying to figure out how to play this format. Well, I'm going to teach you how. Follow along in this brief tutorial. When you're building a team, you want to make sure you think about two or three Pokemon whose typing and roles synergize well for success. One common core that you'll hear all the time is Dragon, Fairy, and Steel. If you can get three Pokemon with these three typings, you should be good to go. Another tried and true classic combination is that of Fire, Water, and Grass. It's not mandatory, but I highly suggest choosing one of these cores. There are a few recommended additional types that you should have on the team. One of them is Bulky Psychic. A Bulky Psychic Pokemon is very hard to break for most teams as coverage for it is lacking. A Bulky Water type is always very valuable and luckily for the draft community there is a plethora of Bulky Water types. A physical attacking fire type will cause a lot of problems for many teams. Since its inception, the fairy type has always been one of the, if not the strongest type. Some would even say that you would be trolling if you did not pick one. Fast electric types will give you a lot of control in games, and will make the game a lot easier. That being said, having a ground type to counter these electric types that many people will bring is very essential. A fighting type always gives good offensive pressure, while dark gives good control over the game. On draft day, you will be picking from the same pool as the rest of the players in the league. Let's say there are three players. If I were to be picking first, and I take Iron Valiant, I must wait till the second and third person pick, and then in round two, the third person will pick first, then the second, and then the first. This is called a snake draft, and it will give all players a fair shot at making an even team to their competitors. If you follow the example, I would have picked 1st, 6th, 7th, 12th, 13th, and so on until all 10 slots of my Pokemon team are filled. We recommend you pick the best Pokemon possible in the first couple rounds. That concludes this tutorial. We hope you learned the basics on how to play in a Pokemon draft format. Please stay tuned for the next video.